Hello, everyone. This is Susan Gerbic. I'm going to speak to you today about a very simple edit that can make a big difference in um, giving more support to Wikipedia pages of our skeptical sp spokespeople. I'm going to start with Westboro Baptist Church. No small matter, of course. And what we're going to do is look at the references way at the very bottom. And what I'm looking for way down, way, 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 down there way 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 heck it down here okay so i'm looking for um an article that was written by Hemet meta which is somebody that we have written a wikipedia page for here it is right there there is Hemet. and what i'm trying to do is i want to get his name which is already mentioned on the westboro baptist church page down here at the very bottom him and him and him and him and I know it's an easy way of doing this, but I want you guys to see how this is done. Good Lord. There it is. Citation 222. 222. Isn't that a TV show? See how it says him at Meta and you can't click on it. You, you can't make it so that it's, you know, you go to his Wikipedia page, which is what we want to do. Him at Meta has just recently uh, received a Wikipedia page from GSOW. So what the person who did the page should have done is gone through Wikipedia entirely, searching for him at Meta and or Meta comma him, him at, and try to find all the references they can. But, you know, we probably didn't even that editor probably didn't even think about it. And, um, you know, it's a little thing. So you can click on this to get to his to the article that is cited. But what I want to do is I want to make the word him at Meta clickable. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to just go up to the edit screen. Ding! And I'm going to show you how I do these kinds of things, which is to copy and paste from another page. Now let's go over here and do the control find. I've typed the word HIMA, which is close enough. And you can see here it says this is the reference that that uh, citation number 222 is referencing. Hemet Metha, Fred Phelps, blah, founder of blah, blah, blah. Okay, so the way Susan works is she goes to a page where it's done correctly. And I picked out Sylvia Brown's page because I knew she had an awful lot of references on here. And I scrolled down to the very end and I looked to find somebody who had uh, the link in there correctly. Now here's Joe Nickel. He's an author. He's one of our skeptical spokespeople. And his has got a live link to it, a hyperlink to his name. And there's also a hyperlink to his article. So I'm going to go and open up Sylvie Brown's page, edit, and I'm going to do the find thing. And I'm going to look for nickel. There you go. N-I-C-K-E-L, find. And I want to see how it's done correctly. And you can see here it says author link equals Joe Nickel. And there's a bar and there's a bar right there. And it, the way they have it here is they have it right after the first and last name. So I'm going to copy this author link just like that. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go to the Editing Westboro Baptist page. Now, I know because I practiced this, that if I put this right here, oh, I think it'll work. So I'm going to go over here and put it in, paste. Now I got to get rid of this little bar right here because otherwise it'd be two bars and we don't want that. And we don't want Joe Nickel to get the the link, right? We want H-E-M-A-N-T-M-E-H-T-A. -E -E and I have it right here on my screen so I can know I'm spelling it correct. Now let's add um, the summary. I'm going to say added author link. And then I'm going to go to show preview. As we all do, even after our thousandth edit, thousandth edit probably more important that time because you're more likely to make a mistake. And now let's go to our search, find Hemet. And you can see it, there it is on the page in the edit part. And then let's go down here and you can see it's a live link. See, now I can click on it and it goes to his Wikipedia page. So this is one very small thing that you can do that will help improve the hits to a Wikipedia page. Okay, and then I'm just going to save it, and then we've just edited 
the uh, Westboro Baptist page. I'm going to close out the Sylvia Brown editing page because that's just the way it is. So I'm going to go down here all the way to the bottom, all the way to the bottom, even farther down to the bottom. Oh, darn it, Susan. There it is. I'm going to hit save page and I could put minor edit. It's not really all that important. The, un the only other thing I want to show you since I'm already on the screen is that the Westboro Baptist Church page is a protected page. And um, there's an awful lot on here, why, which is probably why it's taking so long to save. You can see the little hourglass is doing it. I'm going to hit this one more time, the edit screen, so you can see what this looks like. A page that's protected. See, it's been semi-protected. Auto-confirm users can edit. I think auto-confirm users means <laughs> is that you have to have a uh, Wikipedia account that's an actual person's name, not like an anonymous uh, string of uh, IP, you know, the um, numbers. So you have to have an actual name. I believe that's what it means. And these are logs that are put on here temporarily, usually, maybe for a week because there's been a lot of vandalism or a lot of changes or maybe there's an edit war going on or something like that. When you are editing a page like Westboro Baptist Church, which is a very big page, I mean, there's an awful lot of um, views to this page. Normally, you would go to the talk page and you would discuss the edit that you're planning on making. In this case, the edit that I was making is a very small edit. No one's going to have a problem with it whatsoever. So, you know, like if, if you're fixing grammar or um, something like that, don't worry about it. But if you're trying to add something that's much more controversial or, uh, you know, difficult, that it's going to almost sound like you're trying to give your opinion or something, then always discuss it on talk page first. So I hope you found that very interesting on how to include a author link. Thanks.